This is the Rockaway River. And this is Peter Prawl, local conservationist and artist. I spoke to Peter about his efforts in preserving Moores County's richest ecosystems. Here's how he went about it. 20 to 50 acre parcels along the Beaverbrook Aquifer area, which is right down in the valley here. And we weren't having too much luck, so uh, we then invented this uh, larger plan that stretched all the way from uh, Denville, Route 80, all the way north to uh, Route 23 in the north by Charlottesburg Reservoir and all the way over to uh, Kinelon, Buck Mountain, Rock Pier Mountain that I had to say before my father owned when I was a kid and over to Pyramid Mountain and then all the way over to Jefferson. It was a big area and we started putting together a hypothetical partnership where we'd partner different groups to buy different individual parcels of land within that area uh, because no one group could actually afford to buy one particular piece because they were all so expensive. So we had to do all the legal stuff of getting the towns, you know, onto line with that and the county got onto line with sharing funding to uh, do that where they weren't allowed legally to do that before. And then we created the funding mechanism at the municipal level and the county then had a program where we all participated in helping them to promote the County Open Space Trust Fund. And we're up at the Wildcat Ridge Hawk Watch right now. But across the valley of the priority wetlands of the Beaver Brook, to the right a little bit uh, is uh, the Jonathan's Woods property that the group POW in Denville was particularly interested in preserving. And then over to the left right behind me is uh, the Torn in Boonton. There's 450 acres here below that uh, was basically the genesis of the uh, really nitty gritty creation of the uh, uh, partnership concept because Initially, I got the Trust for Public Lands and the town of Rockway Township interested in partnering to do this. So in order to do that, I had to get the open space referendum on the ballot and get the money in action at the local level. And then uh, the, the Trust for Public Lands then went out and they drew in participation of a whole host of other organizations. Uh, after my particular involvement in this, it got bigger. And uh, they put together a big package to buy that one parcel down there. Then it went from there to preserving everything along the brook, all those individual parcels uh, in the valley below and over in Denville. Uh, Denville uh, partnered up with Ra uh, the Morris County Parks Commission on uh, getting that parcel preserved and the state fell in here and they purchased 2,800 acres uh, from uh, the Samus group. Uh, the state came in and bought the rights to Split Rock Reservoir. <laughs> and there's a chickadee on my head. And the state came in and, uh, and uh, purchased some rights to Split Rock Reservoir and I think they're, uh, they've purchased more uh, conservation rights on that property right now. So it became a huge thing. And then you get over to the western part of Rockway Township where Lake Denmark is and that's all preserved now around there. All the smaller parcels around the federally held land at Lake Denmark are all preserved. Thanks to Peter, we could all run wild. <laughs>